Is the name Dishy McFlatface about to become obsolete? And also, how big of a backlog does Starlink have? We'll get into those questions in just a minute, but first, yeah, you can see the moving boxes. Sorry for the delay in making new content. I'm still Ellie in space, but now I'm Ellie in Utah. I moved from Washington State to Utah this past weekend, and if you've moved before, you know just how much of your time and attention it takes to do that whole entire process, which I am still doing. However, I wanted to talk to you guys today about some new details that we learned about Starlink and part of why we're seeing such a backlog and delay in many people receiving their user terminals uh, and getting their service for Starlink. So let's get right into it. So this week we've learned a couple of new details about Starlink during the Satellite 2021 conference in Maryland. This guy, SpaceX CFO Brett Johnson, revealed some manufacturing numbers that give us a better idea of how many Starlink dishes are being produced each week. So right now SpaceX is only making about 5,000 Starlink dishes per week, but the company does plan to boost manufacturing hopefully later this year sometime in the fourth quarter, which should be around October to meet that consumer demand because I know so many of you are waiting on your Dishy McFlat faces. The company currently has over 600,000 pre-orders for the service that is still in beta and they're only producing 5,000 a week. So of course they do have quite the backlog with the chip shortage and also their current capabilities to produce those dishes, but they do expect that number to multiply in the coming months. This is all according to Brett Johnson. We also learned that SpaceX will have a new user terminal coming this fall. It's rumored to be smaller. It's also rumored to be square shaped and that could obviously kill the nickname Dishy McFlatface. It's also going to be cheaper, but it will still cost SpaceX money to produce, so it's unclear if you as the consumer will experience a price drop just yet. Once again, this next generation dish should mean that they will be able to turn out multiples of their current 5,000 dishes a week. And these Dishy McFlat faces are actually really expensive to produce. Originally, they cost $3,000 per user terminal. Now it's about $1,300, but they're gonna keep trying to drive down those costs. Of course, you're still paying $4.99 for your dish as the consumer, and it's unclear when that price uh, cut is going to come down to you, but I will be following that very closely for you. We also learned at the Satellite 2021 conference that Starlink is planning a polar orbit launch in the coming days rumored to be next Monday but we'll see how that goes but that is also pretty exciting so we'll keep you posted on that again thanks for watching this video if you're new to the channel please make sure to click like hit subscribe you don't want to miss the future content because I am flying down to Brownsville Texas next week to collab with Warren Redlick. We are going to visit Starbase and see Starship in person. I cannot wait to just see it myself and also bring you the coverage from that mission that we are going on. So again, thank you so much for supporting the channel. If you like what you see, click like and I'll see you soon.